ever thought about having kids with the double whammy stress of climate change and overpopulation? For some, the picture seems a little apocalyptic. If the next generation is not going to have clean air, safe drinking water, sufficient food, and a safe shelter, you may be thinking, why would I bring a child into this f***ed up world? At least, that's what people from groups like Voluntary Human Extinction Movement are asking. Yes, some people are really that depressed about the state of the planet. Each time another one of us decides not to add another one of us to the burgeoning billions already squatting on this ravaged planet, it, another ray of hope shines through the gloom, they say. Whoa. Okay. But let's do the math. Some calculations say that if every person on Earth consumed like an American citizen, we would need four Earths to sustain us. So what will happen by the end of the century when the world's population is estimated to hit around 11 billion? So that's overpopulation, but now let's hit climate change, which most of us agree is happening. 2016 was the hottest year in history, and this was mainly due to the carbon emissions we, humans, put in the air. Each person, even your cute baby-to-be, contributes to the amount of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere. Especially in countries like the US, where the average child emits more than 160 times the carbon emissions of a child in Bangladesh. With these ideas in mind, you have people like philosopher Travis Reeder telling his students at James Madison University, maybe we should protect our kids by not having them. But damn, not everyone feels it's that grim. Parents who decide to have kids have the power to educate their young ones about climate change. After all, it's not just how many of us there are, but how we live. So for that, maybe we don't need fewer humans, but smarter ones. 